When it came to changing my diet, I didn't have a problem with that. I just did it. I was motivated and I did it. But getting back into working out has been a struggle for me. I have a feeling by the time this eight weeks I paid for is over, I will have no problem continuing it. When it comes to motivation, so motivation is a big one that people ask me about. I just had someone who did my four-week rapid recovery program with me ask me the question, how do, how do I make myself want to exercise? How do I make myself want to eat well? And the answer is you have to force yourself to do it even though you don't want to for at least a month before you start wanting to which isn't the answer most people want, right? It's really, really hard to create a new habit, especially one that's very different from what you've been doing, something that's going to change your life, the way you live your lifestyle. If it's a big change, then what usually happens is at first you don't want to. Like there's a part of you that wants to, right? There's a part of your brain that's like, I need to do this. But when it comes to the day in, day out stuff, that can get really hard, right? It's sticking with it and making yourself do it every single day, that's difficult. And the answer to that, how do you make yourself do it? What I have found works best is the combination of investment, accountability, support, and coaching. Those four things, investment, accountability, support, and coaching. So for example, I'll give you an example for myself. Um, I just joined a boot camp in my neighborhood, a morning boot camp. So, uh, I have to wake up every morning and it's outdoors and this is Houston, it's hot. So I wake up every morning now and I go to the boot camp to work out. My, my mom is coming, my son Saul is coming and we're doing that every morning. And the reason I joined it is not because I don't know how to work out. I know how to work out. I mean, I, I definitely know what I'm doing. Um, it's because I've gotten out of the habit of working out. So with any habit, if you stop doing the thing that you want to do, the habit can go away where you have to start over, right? Just like if any of you have ever tried to eat on the goodbye lupus protocol and then you got off the habit, maybe you, you, it was the holidays or, or your birthday or anniversary and you got out of the habit, starting over is, well, starting over from the beginning. And now you have to build that habit all over again and that can be really difficult. So I got out of the habit of working out regularly over the pandemic. You know, a lot of you probably relate to that. I just, I spent a lot of time working um, and, uh, and so whenever I had extra time, I was working and what really motivates me to work out is being around people, being at a gym, all that kind of stuff. So we bought all of the equipment for our house. I have everything I need in my house to work out, but I wasn't doing it. And I just kept not doing it. So I realized I need a coach. I need accountability. I need investment and I need support because those things motivate myself. So even though I told myself to do it every day, I didn't do it. Maybe once in a while, I would do it, do five minutes on my spin bike or, or something. I, I do walking and swimming, but not what I want for a workout, like real workouts. So I joined this boot camp and I paid money for it. And my, I told my four-weeker this and she goes, you paid money to join a boot camp with a trainer when your husband is Thomas Tadlock? And I said, yes, I did. Because again, it's not an information problem. I don't even need a trainer at this point uh, for information. But its application is making myself do it. So I paid a trainer. I paid him for the whole summer, eight weeks, because money is motivating, right? If you pay for something, you're more likely to do it. I have found that over and over again to be the case um, with helping people with their recovery, right? If you pay for it, suddenly you're like, oh, damn, I got to use this, right? So I paid for it. I paid for my son and for myself. We're going to do this boot camp, pay for the whole summer. Uh, it's every day at eight in the morning. And got to be there, right? Uh, which is why I don't have time to dry my hair now. <laughs> this is my summer look now. This is a boot camp, right? So we got to be there. And so now I have, uh, and then there's other people there, right? And I've gotten to know them a little bit. So I have a support group. I have paid my money. So now I'm motivated. Um, and I have a coach who is helping me and making sure to keep me accountable. So when I show up, he's watching my form and making sure that I do it, make sure my elbows are in, make sure that I'm running the way I need to. So I have a coach, um, I have support, I have accountability, and I have an investment, and I have not missed a day since I started. And I look forward to it every day. I look forward to it. I'm so happy right now. So 
when it comes to starting a habit or restarting a habit, those are the things that make people able to change and do something until they want to. I have a feeling by the time this eight weeks I paid for is over, I will have no problem continuing it. In fact, it's only four days a week, and I'm already planning to go on the fifth day on Friday with my son in the morning just to do some bodybuilding together because I'm now in the habit. I'm creating this habit, and it's rewarding me with these endorphins where I feel really good. So those are the keys. So if you can do it on your own, it's wonderful, right? When it came to changing my diet, I didn't have a problem with that. I just did it. I was motivated and I did it. But getting back into working out has been a struggle for me um, because the motivation that I used to have is gone. My motivation used to be I wanted to lose weight. My weight is great. I have never had a problem with my weight because of the way I eat. I stay skinny, no problems. But there's other reasons to work out. Your heart health, you know, mental health, all these different things. And so when my original motivation that used to work is no longer a problem, this is what I needed. So if you're struggling, that's something to consider for yourself, right? That how do I create that for myself? So if I need to, if you want to get onto my protocol, right? How are you going to do it? So what are you going to do for support? What are you going to do for investment? What are you going to do um, for accountability, right? So that is going to be, that's, so, that's what works. That's why we created things like my rapid recovery group, because that's what it is. Every single day, if you guys like this once a week, every single day, there's my face, <laughs> teaching, motivation, and dedication, and helping people through relapse, because that's part of change, um, helping people get it right, keeping them accountable. Every single day, let me see what you ate. Every single day, I'm going to see what you ate and make sure that it's right. Every single day, I'm going to help you with the emotional stuff that you tell me about, right? So accountability, coaching, investment, when people do that, they get better. So that's why I created programs like that, because I don't want to see people start and fail and not get their life back. I want to see people finish. And so I don't even take a day off. This trainer's four days a week. I'm seven days a week. I help people. No matter where I am in the world, I'm still in there helping those folks in rapid recovery. But um, if you want to do it with me, great. But if not, how do you build up for yourself? What's your support network going to be? What kind of investment is necessary? Do you have to buy that Vitamix? the high level blender to motivate yourself to use it? Like what can you do to hit all those points to make sure that you can make the change you want for your life, right? So motivation is not enough. You need those other factors as well to really make a new habit stick. <laughs>